Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Big Blue AL 1200 MP dive torch. So this is a decent size, compact little dive torch, 1200 lumens, so decent power, maximum burn time for at full power at two hours, sands rechargeable battery on the inside. It's got a funky uh, sort of matte uh, camo design on it. Let's take a closer look. So this is how it arrives uh, in, in a pretty cool little dry bag. This is like a, it's a bit smaller than a five liter. It's kind of like a three, maybe four liter dry bag, but it's a free dry bag that you weren't expecting. So that's quite nice. Um, we get a little um, sort of cheat card for me to look at. Uh, lithium ion rechargeable battery, narrow beam, spotlight beam, available in four different colors, slim size, 1200 lumens. Um, yeah, four different power settings, so that's quite nice. You can uh, sort of dial it down if you don't want it at the full 1,200 lumens, which is actually quite bright, especially for like a night dive in, uh, in clear blue waters. 1,200 lumens, it's quite a lot. I usually dial it down or cover it up with my hand a little bit just so I'm not dazzling everyone around me. Uh, aluminium alloy. 18650 battery, that's a pretty standard battery size nowadays for the rechargeable batteries. 10 degree narrow beam, decent. Uh, you get that spotlight where it's gonna focus on one particular area, but it's not gonna be just laser focused too much. Burn time, two hours at maximum, and then 20 hours at the lowest setting, uh, 150 meters to, uh, to its maximum depth, and buoyancy in seawater, negative 76 grams. So it is gonna sink a little bit, um, and then dry weight is uh, 168 grams, including the battery. So, um, so on the inside of the bag, uh, there's a little box, and I imagine inside of the box, uh, we've got the torch, as well as a few other bits and bobs. So, cardboard box, eco-friendly. On the inside of the box, we get a, a little pamphlet, uh, maintenance, transportation, how to use it, and all that kind of stuff. You also get the uh, the torch itself, uh, which is quite funky, but I'll take a closer look at that in a moment. A pair of spare O-rings. Um, so you, you should already have a, a few O-rings already fitted to it. These will be replacement O-rings for if and when those do wear out. Uh, a, a battery charger and a lanyard. So rechargeable battery, you take it out of the torch, you put it in the cradle and then charge it up. Um, that has the standard UK three pin plug. So you're gonna need uh, to sort of plug that into an outlet to, uh, to recharge that. That is the 18650 battery. Yeah, this is quite a common size nowadays, especially in diving torches. We see 18650s uh, quite a lot. So you can buy uh, sort of replacements quite readily. And a little bit of silicone grease uh, for those O-rings, just to make sure they're nice and, uh, and supple. So they're sealing effectively. Uh, so I'm gonna charge the battery up, whack it in the torch and uh, see what it can do. So this is the dive torch itself. Uh, the body is made out of anodized aluminium, so lightweight, but also corrosion resistant. Um, it has this matte finish to it um, beyond the, uh, the, so the camo finish to it. Most torches nowadays that they have that uh, sort of PVD coating or something, um, which has like this gloss kind of finish, which is okay, but this actually has a matte finish. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it, it adds texture to the entire torch. You have this cross hatching uh, kind of detailing down at the bottom of the torch uh, to give you a bit of grip, but actually the entire torch has a lot of grip. So especially when it's wet, plenty of grip to, uh, to grab hold of it and, uh, and keep it in your hands. Nice size as far as uh, sort of being a, a, a torch in your hands and um, not too big. So you end up getting cramped with your hands holding on for uh, for too long, um, but not too small that you, you feel that you, you have to hold it in a certain way. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a decent sized torch. Single LED in the front. That's what kicks out the, uh, the 1200 lumens. Plenty of power, 1200 is quite a lot for like a night dive in the Red Sea. Um, I'd probably step that down, but this has those four different power settings. You can dial it all the way down to 120 lumens uh, if you really wanted to and get that like 20 hour burn time. The head of it is separate from the body. I'll, uh, I'll pull them apart in a second so you can see on the inside, um, but the head has the battery, oper not battery button operation 
push button, and that's how you cycle through. If you press it, it cycles through the different power settings. If you hold it down, it goes down to the uh, to the SOS function. I'll show you that later. So if there is anyone with uh, photosensitive epilepsy, this is your warning at the moment. Uh, I'll do that a bit later down the road. But around that, you'll see this kind of clear plastic uh, sort of halo around it. There's actually a little colored LED or a series of colored LEDs underneath that. That's your battery level indicator when the torch is switched on. Opening up the torch, uh, you just unscrew the uh, the two parts and you'll see the, uh, the double O-ring seal on the inside. So there's one and two. Uh, you'll probably be able to make that out because they're black. Uh, the battery on the inside, yeah, 18650, 3400 milliamp hour battery. Uh, negative goes into the, uh, the body of the torch. Screw it back together. Make sure there's no hair in there. Small, small amount of silicone grease, just a tiny film on the outside, uh, just makes them slide in very easily. Too much and it attracts too much hair and uh, sort of dust and stuff which can compromise the seal. Body of the torch, um, yeah, most of it's just flat and then you have this, uh, this cross hatching. And then down at the bum, we have two little attachment points, one on either side, these anchor points, nice and wide so you can fit some, uh, some thread through, uh, attach a bolt snap, do whatever you want to it. Switching the torch on, uh, so yeah, single button, press it once and it switches on, that's full power. Keep pressing it and, um, and then it dials it down. And if you hold it down, it goes to the SOS, that dot, 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 dash, dash, dash. Um, and then just around that uh, button you might be able to pick up, it's got that blue halo color around it. That's the battery level indicator. It's like a traffic light system, except it uses the color blue. Um, and that tells you how much battery is left in the torch. As far as beam angle, yeah, you get that hot spot, um, 10 degrees. So you can focus on one thing in particular. You can uh, sort of really communicate with your buddies quite effectively, but you also have this halo as well. So it's illuminating things around that hot spot. So you can still navigate quite easily. You can see what's going on in the reef around you without having to focus just on each individual thing. You can see everything in the water and then press it again to switch it off. So very simple user interface. And that's the big blue AL1200NP2 dive torch. Um, yeah, as I said, nice compact, but powerful torch, pretty lightweight. You could stow this away in pockets pretty easily. Um, decent power output, 1200 lumens is pretty sort of fair game. That's a fairly powerful torch for a night dive uh, sort of out in the Red Sea or something. Um, but yeah, you can change the power settings to, uh, to your preference, which just increases the battery life. Rechargeable battery, always handy means that you don't have to risk running out if you start the dive with half battery power um, you just charge it up and top it up as you need to there's going to be more information on our website simplyscuba.com the dimensions and all that kind of stuff there'll be a link down in the description below so you can check it out and you can buy it from us at simplyscuba.com thank you for watching and of course safe diving